morning everybody. In this video I'm going to show you how you can align shapes to a circular path, either borders or individual shapes. I'll be showing you both. To do this, click the circle icon on the left side of your screen, hold down the shift key on your keyboard, and then draw your circle. This ensures that you always get a perfect circle. I'm now going to go to my library and choose a border shape that will work nicely for this. Instead of searching through everything, I'm going to type in the word border so that I can find something that I think will work well. Uh, lots of different borders here, so... Um, it's kind of hard to choose sometimes. Okay, I'm going to use the scallops here. That should be easy. Oops. I still had the circle selected. So I'm going to ungroup these. I'm only going to use one of these. I'm going to use the smaller one. And the first thing I need to do is to cut the border so that I get one piece that I'll use. So I need to click my knife tool over here. I need to have choose solid and straight and then I can zoom in a bit so I can see it better and I will cut this shape right here. When you have this auto applied then your cut is applied immediately as soon as you do that. I'm going to take away this shape here and I'm left with this piece. I'm going to rotate this by turning it uh, 180 degrees and I'm going to bring it down to my circle and I'm going to move it in a bit so that I have this section as my element. The next thing I need to do, I'm going to zoom back out so I can see the circle in full. I need to drag this little crosshair down to about the middle of the circle in a straight line as much as possible. And once I've done that, I can choose the Replicate tool and rotate five times and then another five times. And then I'm going to choose the second to last element and rotate one copy. Well, that was kind of silly. <laughs> Why it did that, I don't know. I guess I'll choose this element and do that again. Rotate one copy, and that brought it into the right place. So now, if I want to create a mat, then I can just choose all of this and weld. And now I have a mat that looks like this. I'm going to color it in so you can see. But if I wanted to have a shape where I've got a circle in the middle and all I need to do is choose circle again press the shift key draw a circle I'm going to bring that into the middle of my shape it needs to be a little bit smaller now I'm going to center these Uh, which one was that now? That's in the Align tool. And I need to center it in the middle. And then I need to create a compound path. And now you'll see when you color it in, oops, it needs to be selected to color it in, that you have a circle in the middle. So now you do the exact same thing if you wanted to use just one element, if you didn't have a border. So I'll do that for you, as you can see. So I'll choose a circle, draw my circle. Okay, now, whoops, I released the shift key. So my circle isn't perfect, I'll do that again. Choose a circle icon, hold down shift until I draw, and I'm going to leave this without color. I will go and choose an element I want to use. 
I'll just undo my border search. That's not what that did. I have to just delete the word. And it's going to now search, use, find anything. Um, So in this case, I'm going to use a heart, I think. No, actually, the heart would be a little bit weird. Um, I'm going to use a star. I'm going to search for a star. And here's a good shape. Now this has a couple of layers. I'm just going to undo those. And I'll just keep this one. Delete those. And it's kind of big for what I want to do. So I'll make it smaller. I'll sit it here. Don't know how this is going to turn out, but that's okay. It's always fun to experiment. So I'll drag this down to about here, and again I'll replicate, rotating five times, and another five times, and then one more time, and then when I join all of my pieces together, or I should say just select all of my pieces, I can then weld them, and I end up with this shape. So that's interesting. Anyway, this gives you the, the idea of how to do this with different shapes. And again, if I wanted a circle in the middle, I could do that as well. So I hope this has helped you figure out how to attach an, a, an element to a circular path. Thanks for watching.